What's up guys, Mike here from Things We Play, and today we're taking a look at Heat Guardian. Now this is just a demo, but to be honest, it's kind of even less than that. It's uh, more of a proof of concept than anything else, but this is kind of interesting. It's a top-down survival shooter set in a kind of stalker-like world, I guess. Kind of Soviet stuff, you know? Anyway, we're just going to dive straight in. It's not very long, so we're going to do the whole thing. Just a story mode at the moment, and I'll show you what it's all about. I think... This could turn into something kind of great. It's made by one guy, and if you want to try it out for yourself, you need the link in the description of this video. Right. Slipped Will. What happened this time? Oleg will tell. Bugs again? Worse. Come on, go to him. Sorry about my accent, guys. Right, okay, so this is me. As you can see, I've got a gun, and uh, that's... That's my friend who told me to go and see Oleg. I'm just going to wander around over here and grab this med kit and this ammo. And uh, see in the top left there, it tells me where I've got to go. So let's see if we can find Oleg. Uh, I've got a flashlight. That's cool. Doesn't really do a great deal, to be perfectly honest. But I think we'll have it on, because why not? Oh, there's a guy here just standing. And he's invincible. He must be a friend. That's how you can tell in video games whether they're friends or not. If they're invincible when you shoot them in the back when they're just standing in an empty toilet. Right. Oleg. Should be up here. Uh, we never look around. I haven't really done much in the way of exploring. Look, there's a dude here. I can chat to him. No. I can't chat to him. But you'd imagine that that icon would suggest I can chat to him. And in the full game, maybe I'll be able to. Can I get in there? I want to I wanna get in there. I can't. So we're not going to bother. We're just going to talk to Oleg. That's what he told us to do. We should just do that. How do you feel? However, that doesn't matter. There's a job to be done. And no one can do it instead of me. Your wound costed us a lot. You are the extra eater, you know. Now you should pay us back. Well, what happened? There are two of our guys on the sawmill. That is on south. The walkie-talkie has been silent for two hours. Go find them. I hope you repaired my rifle. Yes, you'll find it in the armory. Take it before you leave. Cheers, Oleg. Weird accent. I don't know where Oleg's from, but uh, nice guy. You know, nice guy. Really, really big fan of dominoes, weirdly. Anyway, let's have a look. We want to go south. There's some ammo here. Might as well collect all that. Never know how it's going to be out there. In this harsh climate. Right, so we'll just have a quick look around. And, uh, oh, maybe not, because there's an invisible wall here, which is a bit of a bummer. But like I say, this is early. Uh, don't judge it on the invisible walls or the people that look like we can talk to, but we can't. Uh, I can run if I hit the space bar. Off the map, just like that, into the next zone. Right. Here we are. Pretty scary, but not really. I'm just saying that for effect. Sawmill is somewhere near. Uh, I mean, how scary... Oh, Okay. Just picked up a stick, maybe? Let's have a look. Uh, so this is all my stuff I've got. I've got a knife, jabby jab. I've got, like, a machine gun type thing for, you know, rat -tat boom I've got uh, mines for step on that and you're dead. Got a health pack for, you know, making myself feel better after I've stepped on that and being dead. I've got grenades, because who doesn't love a grenade? Oh. Oh, shit! Fucking bollocks! So this is all the stuff I've got. I've got mines and grenades, but you kind of know how they work. Uh, I've got my pistol, of course, you've already seen that. Uh, I've also got binoculars, which I think are kind of cool for sort of spying on other areas of the map. There's not a lot to see down here, but... Nifty idea. If I hit shift as well, I can sort of get an extended long look out. Anyway, that's kind of the basics. Let's get our gun back and let's progress on to the sawmill for Oleg. The sawmill is somewhere near. Yeah, we know. Let's pick up that stick again. I don't know if I can do anything with that. I don't know if I've got any... Oh, I dropped my gun. I don't know if I've got any inventory of any sort. I can't seem to... Oh. I can't seem to find it. So I don't think so. But I picked up a stick for something. Anyway, let's have a look around. Tanks. Oh! Don't know what that was. Didn't really hesitate to sort of look at it. Just sort of blew it away. But I think it was some sort of bug. Maybe a beetle. Probably dangerous. What is that? 
Uh, okay. I think it's radioactive. That's I mean that's what I'm getting from the oh, from the Geiger counter. What the fuck is that? Get the fuck back! Okay, I don't know what that fucking glowing thing was. I've never seen that before. There's some nice touches in this game. Like, as you can see, all my ammo cases just sort of flying out. Oh, that's a lot of bugs. But what was that thing? I don't know, some sort of creature. Alright. Last time I played this game, I didn't actually see any of those creatures. So that that is kind of interesting. I saw the bugs, but none of the sort of glowing humans. Oh, leave me alone. Oh. Alright. Some sort of jet here. Am I, am I cold? Shit. Uh, I need to get warm. Can I start a fire? I feel like I could maybe... Okay. Alright, okay. It's making more sense to me now, guys. I'm going to explain something to you that's going to blow your mind. On my backpack, which is the thing I've got on my back, that's not the thing that's going to blow your mind. What I'm going to say next blows your mind. And when I pick up wood... Oh, bollocks to it! Right. The thing on my backpack, you see it? It's got a glow, it's glowing. It's because I've got some sort of thing on it that warms me up. Think Lost Planet, sort of original Lost Planet, and you're picking up Tiang. Was it Tiang? I think it was. Anyway, that warms me up. If I pick up this log, it goes in my backpack. And it's basically, I've got a fireplace on my back. And it's keeping me toasty in this. Ooh! What are you? In this harsh environment. So, uh. Yeah, that's nice. Right, anyway, let's just press on because. I managed to complete this whole demo the first time I played it without dying. But then I also wasn't talking either. Chatting shit to you lot. Right, double barrel shotgun. A lot of radiation, so I should probably fuck off. Let's switch to it. Right, I mean business now. No more fucking about. We just gotta get this done. I gotta go to bed. You don't know what time it is, but trust me, it's later than normal for bedtime sort of thing. Bugs. Bugs. I hate bugs. Follow me, guys. It's, it's going to be fine. I'll lead you to salvation. Or at least the sawmill. Ooh, get fucked. I don't like them. There's loads of them. This is the wrong weapon entirely for this sort of situation. Goodbye and good night. Right, let's grab that. Warm ourselves up a bit more. What is this? Ammo. Oh, I'm going to die again. I can't believe it. Wrong weapon. Oh. Oh. Shit, shit, shit. Oh. Okay, so I'm not actually having that much of a nice time anymore. It was all going so well. But now, it actually seems to be really fucking hard. Like they've updated it in between the first time I played it and now. Just when I'm making a video. Just to make it tougher. To make me seem like a fucking idiot. I can do it, guys. I'm going to make you proud of me. And I'm going to show you a pretty cool game at the same time. Ugh! Anyway, this is probably something to keep on your radar. Uh, like I say, try it out for yourself by hitting the link in the description of this video. But I know for sure I would like to see more. Um, I didn't actually think... I don't think this is the way I want to go. I didn't actually think when I first saw this game that it would work with this sort of perspective. Because I actually thought that the top-down sort of view would kind of break the immersion a little bit and not make it as much of a survival game as you'd kind of want it to be. But it actually doesn't. It kind of works really, really well. Um, so that's cool. Right, we're here. We're at the uh, at the sawmill. Hello? There is a flesh blood. I think it'll help me to find the way. Flesh blood? Alright. Weird picture. Good. Oh, you do actually get your heat back just by standing in a building, so you don't have to worry about picking up the logs all the time. That will be enough. But, uh... Alright, where are we going? Following the blood. Shit. Shit. Need to go back. Ahead trail. It'll be faster. English, obviously. Not necessarily being the strong point of the one guy making this game. Anyway, we're gonna head back to the camp. Hopefully we'll make it alright. We can warn them of whatever happened down here. I don't know. Everyone's dead. But then there are those mutants and the bugs. So it's perfectly understandable given the circumstances. Okay. 
Oh, shit. Something is wrong. Oh, there's a dude over there. Let's turn the flashlight out. Alright, we're gonna have to go in stealth. Shut. Oh, shit. Should I try and knife him? Turn around, fool. Turn around! That's better. Shit, he's off. Okay. I'm gonna get him. Let's knife the fuck up. Ooh! Have some of that! Did a little casual spin around there because... I like to. But yeah, we got him. Alright, okay. Where is everybody? Binoculars. Oh, they're fucking difficult to control, you know? Because you just want to look at everything. So you just kind of spin around. He gets too excited. Alright, fuck it. It's going hard. Hello? Oh, seems wrong to just blow him away. Just like that, but... Fuck it, good night. Got a mate, have you? Ooh, I don't give a shit. Morning. Alright, okay. That was fine, it was a little bit sloppy. Otherwise, it was fine. Let's heal ourselves up. Reload. Get back in the action. Plenty of ammo about, which is good. Okay. God, everyone's dead. Oh, that's a lot of radiation. That was him there. Okay. Right, I should take this guy out. Grenade. There you go, mate. Fuck. Oh, fuck. Fuck, 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 fuck. Oh, hide in the bushes. Gun. Oh, get fucked. Alright, okay. Again, it all seems far sloppier than it actually is. I know what I'm doing. This is all tactical. Anyone else about? Oh, fuck, fuck, fuck. You want some? Do ya? Get out of my fucking camp. Get out of my fucking camp. Right, the last thing I want to do, because I take it we're back home, is I want to blow someone up with a fucking landmine. Anyone around? Anyone who feels like dying tonight? There we go. Of course, I do feel like maybe that's going to stop me from getting out of here. Anybody? Are we cool? No, we're not cool. We are not cool. Landmine, bitch. Oh, fuck it. Right, there's no time. we just got to get in. Let's go for it. See you later, losers. I'm going home. Oh shit, this is gonna get nasty real quick. Oh! Fuck off. Oh, okay, that was a bad move. Stealth approach. Nice. So you can just sort of rush people. This guy's got a knife in here. Knife on knife. How about that? Who's next? You want some? Oh shit! Oh. Okay, we're gonna try and get inventive with some of these kills now before we go. Let's use some landmines. Come on, mate. What the fuck? You just walked over two landmines. Do it again. What the fuck? Can everyone just stop walking over landmines? Oh, yeah, we got him. 
we got him, we got him. Okay. Fucking cheap ass landmines from China. Get down. Okay. Who's next? Where is he? Where'd he go? Some guy went into the bushes here. Alright. We just gotta get back, I think. We're wasting too much time. Don't stop, just go. Oh, don't stop, just go. Oh! To be quite honest, the amount of times I've died whilst making this video is ridiculous. And I'm, I mean it, the first time I played it, I did not die at all. So, um, this is extra for you guys. Maybe it's because I'm rushing it. Maybe it's because I don't want to kill everyone. But why don't I want to kill everyone? I should want to kill everyone, right? Grenades for everyone. Bad. It's bad. Shit. Ah! You enter this bush, you fucking die. Alright? That's just how it goes from now on. I'm getting through this. I'm not hanging about any longer. I've played it for long enough. I only wanted to show you how good the fucking game was. Yes, it's good. You get it, alright? Now just see me through to the end, then you can hit the like button and you can go home. Never was that stealthy, you know? I'm more of a sort of guns blazing type of guy. He's never seen me wrong. Right. Some guys are gonna come get me here. Shit, here they come. Oh. Okay, one was luckier than- Oh shit! Knife! No! Jesus Christ. So as you can see, or at least you should have picked up on it by now, things can turn pretty quickly in this game. They can get- oh, where? They can get pretty damn ugly, pretty damn fast. Um, especially if you're trying to make a video about the game. But that's alright, you'll play it for yourself and you'll see. You'll see. Oleg? Oleg? Oleg, what's up? What? What happened? There were too much wild men. A map. They took it. Dash it. You need help. Nothing can help me now. I told you, that was a wrong decision to stay here. Find that shelter. Finish our path. Oh, Oleg, give me that fucking gun, man. We gotta finish this. And there you go, guys. That's Heat Guardian. Not bad. I'd say. Uh, definitely worth a go. Try it out for yourself. Don't die as many times as I did, but then I don't know why that happened. That's just a freakish thing. Tonight, weird. Don't know the game was fucking up. Who knows? It doesn't matter. Let's not discuss that in the comments. What we should discuss is whatever we want, I suppose. That's the, that's the beauty of the free world we live in. Uh, anyways, if you enjoyed the video, please do hit the like button on your way out, and uh, be sure to subscribe for more stuff. Take care of yourselves, guys. I'll see you next time.